First reading, Acts chapter 8 verse 1 to 8. And at that time there was raised a great persecution against the church which was at Jerusalem, and they were all dispersed through the countries of Judea, and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men took order for Stephen's funeral, and made great mourning over him. But Saul made havoc of the church, entering in from house to house, and dragging away men and women, committed them to prison. They therefore that were dispersed, went about preaching the word of God. And Philip going down to the city of Samaria, preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord were attentive to those things which were said by Philip, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For many of them who had unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, went out. And many, taken with the palsy, and that were lame, were healed. Psalm, Psalms chapter 66 verse 1 to 7 Unto the end, a canticle of a psalm of the resurrection. Shout with joy to God, all the earth. Sing ye a psalm to his name, give glory to his praise. Say unto God, how terrible are thy works, O Lord. In the multitude of thy strength thy enemies shall lie to thee. Let all the earth adore thee, and sing to thee, let it sing a psalm to thy name. Come and see the works of God, who is terrible in his counsels over the sons of men. Who turneth the sea into dry land, in the river they shall pass on foot, there shall we rejoice in him. Who by his power ruleth forever, his eyes behold the nations, let not them that provoke him he exalted in themselves. Gospel John chapter 6 verse 35 to 40 And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life, he that cometh to me shall not hunger, and he that believeth in me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that you also have seen me, and you believe not. All that the Father giveth to me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me, I will not cast out. Because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Now this is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all that he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again in the last day. And this is the will of my Father that sent me, that every one who seeth the Son, and believeth in him, may have life everlasting, and I will raise him up in the last day. <laughs>